that requires resources to reach people. I mean, it doesn't just happen by itself. Although God could make it happen, He chooses to do that through other believers. We've been here about 14 years. We just loved all the activities for our children and plenty of opportunities for us to be involved in small groups and Bible young, studies. Young couples our age with kids. We just felt like we found a home. We have been blessed and it's important, you know, to give back. That's part of our mission as Christians. Well, my grandmother and my grandfather, I went to church with them when I was young, and they used to give these little rubber like footballs that were had the Arkansas Razorback schedule on the back, but it was a coin holder. People would put pennies, dimes, nickels in it, and my grandfather always had one, and he gave me one of those little footballs. And I just vividly remember when I was very young, he would always make sure I had some change in my pocket in that little football when I went to Sunday school, because when I was growing up, we actually had an offering in our Sunday school class at a young age. Granted, it wasn't my money, but you know he was teaching me about giving. You learn something and you and you took it in, but it's only when you're older that you start to get money and earn money that then it becomes a real conversation for you. And I, I've always worked. I started working when I was 14, and so I was taught to tithe at an early age, you know, right off the top. And my mother was big on teaching me that it's there's always something to be grateful for and thankful for, and you pay your tithe accordingly. But anyway, when I was in high school. Uh, my mom had to quit work. She had health issues, and uh, our house was struck by lightning and burned down. Unfortunately, they found out their insurance was grossly inadequate, didn't cover near enough to rebuild the house. A ton of people from our church at the time that had some carpentry skills, and, and over multiple weekends, they, they all came and gave their time and started helping us rebuild the house to save money. And my stepfather, was he was working all day and then coming home and working until you know, late at night, going to bed, getting up and doing it all over again. And then he was let go from work. And so they were both unemployed at this point. And I just vividly remember my mother making sure that she said, well, you know, we're still gonna tithe. We still, we still have a lot to be thankful for. And you know, unemployment's not really enough to live off of. All that time they were paying tithes on this unemployment. You know, nobody would have faulted them for not. I mean, it was, not enough funds to, to live in, in, and provide for a family. I, that vividly stuck in my mind. And I, I'll never forget that Thanksgiving, there was a person in the church that we knew, but not well. And he approached my stepfather and slipped him a hundred dollar bill and said, the Lord had put us on his heart and said, hey, I, I wanna make sure that you have the funds to celebrate Thanksgiving and have plenty of money to, to buy turkey and all the fixings you know, for your family. That was a pretty impactful thing to happen. And at that age, I mean, it just really resonated with me. And I would say ever since then, I've never even questioned giving. The Lord's always provided for me. He's always provided for my family, even when things seemed pretty dire. And I think He's blessed us so that we can make those decisions to bless others. You have to trust the leadership of the church, and I do. You know, I'd been given advice from my family uh, as well that you know, when you give, you don't give with strings attached because it's kind of not really giving. Well, to me, I think of next step as just always thinking about moving forward, not staying the same, you know, taking a step forward in your walk. When I think of next steps, I think of the future and it's kind of exciting, you know, like what's what's coming. And it's not our job to know it. That's. It's our job to do our little part and then God will take it from there.